What is up everyone? Welcome back to another BMG.Drive video. So in this video I'm gonna go over the few things that you can use, few mods to be exact, to make any of the official cards. So if your uh, list of cards looks exactly like this, so if you only have BMG Drive official cards, I'm gonna show you how you can make a supercar out of pretty much any of these. Because I've seen a lot of like posts both on Reddit and Facebook of people asking where do I download supercars. While there are mods to download supercars, there's definitely a way to make pretty much any of these a supercar. And I'm gonna show you that in this video. So if you found anything informative or useful in this video, make sure to like it and subscribe for more BMG.Drive content. So this is the list of mods that I use to make supercars out of the well, ordinary cars in bmg.drive and uh, you're gonna have links to all of these mods in the description below so check it out and you can skip over this if you don't want you'll have timestamps also so the first and most, most important mod is rk's highly customizable engines so this is gonna add two engines one to a bunch of cars so you're gonna have an inline 5 for these cars and a v8 for these cars uh those are almost all of the like usual cars that you get in bmng.drive we had a few exceptions so these engines they can be really really highly customized and as it says here you can get a thousand horse horsepower even while it's naturally aspirated so definitely great you're definitely gonna need this mod the next mod is ultimate configuration pack you can see the URI, URI and you have it down in the description also. So this is gonna add a lot of the parts to the engines, uh, both the engines and the vehicles themselves. So yeah, and a whole lot of new configurations. So you're gonna have supercars even without you having to build them from scratch, which is also great. Uh, the next mod that I like to use is super radiators. So if you're like engine seems to overheat for some reason you can put this thing in and that pretty much solves the problem in a lot of the situations uh next mod well when it comes to this car usually uh i mean it's an old car mid engine and it really really suffers from understeer this mod adds some things to it some parts it also looks like a ferrari kinda so yeah it's gonna add new things to the car so you can use new new parts and make that particular car even better uh when it comes to this guy he doesn't have a new engine from this mod so this engine is pretty nice you can also put uh, turbos on it so definitely recommend that if you want to make even better cars out of these uh it has really nice sound and it's also pretty good uh when it comes to piccolina it also doesn't have another engine uh, I mean this mod it's brilliant and it's in beta and it has been like it's being updated all the time we used to not have the V8 so I hope we're gonna get like a flat 4 or flat 6 engine for these two cards meanwhile you can use this engine for this one and this guy gets the SBR engine in it so it's pretty cool works pretty nice so you can use that and another cool and fun thing that, that you can add uh, is 0 to 100 timer like it's customizable actually so you can customize it not to be 0 to 100 it can be 0 to 300 100 to 200 and so on it's a very great mode and i really recommend it i do also use it all the time so once you have downloaded and installed all the mods either subscribe to them so it's the bmg drive is just gonna install them for you or you can download them and put them in your mods folder then load up the bmg and just spawn a car that you want to modify into a real supercar so for the purpose of, th of this video i'm gonna take this this is a normal uh, trim that you get uh in the game it's not one of these things that we got from the mode and i'm just gonna spawn it here to replace this one that i have and i'm just gonna go over the things that i do to the cars to make them even better and make them like proper supercars so just press Control w and that's gonna pick uh, this uh, vehicle customization uh, window. So right now uh, you have access to pretty much all the parts on your car and you just wanna swap them out uh, for some better parts that are gonna make the car run great. So I've customized this car and now I'm just gonna go over to through all the parts that I have swapped. So uh, we have a race performance radiator here. I've put just a normal plain roof because I like it better. Uh, 
raised both the driver and passenger seats. I've kept the rear seats, but you can remove them if you want. Usual steering wheel. Uh, all this is pretty much normal. Uh, when it comes to the engine, this is everything that I picked for it. Uh, I made the engine even a bit bigger. Uh, didn't want to put two step in. Kinda irritates me sometimes. Uh, when it comes to the, to the exhaust, I've left the RS exhaust in there instead of using the RK exhaust. That way I get to limit the power of the engine a bit because it was kind of too much with these settings. And also kind of smaller, smaller boost on the turbo and uh, like smaller turbine wheel because I really didn't want it to be that much. Uh, also no supercharger because I don't need 3000 horsepower so that's okay. Uh, when it comes to the transmission, I've put the race six-speed manual transmission in the in there, so I can uh, later to the tuning adjust the gear ratios. I'll show that to you later. Uh, the suspension is actually very important, so you gotta make sure you adjust that also. I put pretty much everything race that can be race, uh, f uh, so race front disc brakes and full race brake pads, both front and rear. Uh, I put power steering in. I sometimes like the feel of it, so it's there. When it comes to the tires, I put these tires on it. I didn't care so much about the looks, it's more about the handling. So this car has slicks on it, and really huge slicks. And problems that you can run in here is the car can sometimes have so much grip, it actually like rolls over because the tires are holding it so great. And if you happen to run into that, don't use slicks. Uh, use like these sport tires or something like that. Yeah, you're gonna get less grip, but that's one of the limitations of the game so far. Uh, when it comes to the tuning, I haven't fiddled with this so much, except the RPM limit, which is all the way up, obviously. Suspension, I haven't done much tuning for it. It's pretty much as it is, but gear ratios, they're totally custom. I've used these. Uh, also, none of these have been adjusted. So now this car should be a proper supercar and let's go and take it for a ride. So that's gonna be all for the video guys. If you enjoyed it or if you found it informative make sure to leave a like. I'm just gonna drive this thing around a bit to show you how it works. And yeah, hopefully this was informative and make sure to subscribe for more BMG.Drive content. I'll see you pretty soon. Bye bye.